Welcome back to Metroid Dread. We're in Artaria, back at the start, first area. But we return with the Morph Ball. Which you wouldn't think would be a big deal, but we're like in the third area, just getting the Morph Ball. And the game has led us in the direction up here. Which we can now progress through with that morph ball. Okay, we don't have that. That looks like... Open thermal trap door. And nice, you can just destroy those right away now. Jeez, took like six missiles to kill that thing. Okay, I don't know what this is. Can't open it though. Hot. So it looks like we're going through this little area up here. This is where we got led to, so I'm sure something up here is going to be ours. Okay, so this is going to probably open up this passage, which leads down this way. So we've got to deal with what's up here. Okay, so we have an interactive device here. This is going to be another thermal door shutter or something or other. But I don't see any thermal doors. Well, there were these, but they're open. Oh well, progress is progress. Let's go. Yeah, look at that. It moved. Moving a little too much. Nope, can't do that. Getting hot! Getting hot! Okay, that shutter is closed over there. Holy heck! Okay, I think we're past the worst of it. All right, so that turned real bad real fast, and now it's entirely overheated. There we go. Okay, so we got that over there. Can't do anything about it. We can open this, though. That's hot. And that is good. The first time I saw this, I said, what even is that? Varia. I don't know how I feel about them changing the... the thing, the actual item, to not look at all like Varia. The suit is nice looking, though. There's something about the white of, like, the full body part that looks real neat, but also doesn't quite feel endgame. Like this, it doesn't quite feel like, yeah, we're powerful now. Like, looks good. We feel more powerful, but we don't feel 
powerful. And honestly, that's a good state to be in. Okay, well, we can't go that way, so I guess we're going this way. Into the fire! I don't care what's that way, actually. I don't have to kill him. I kind of want that, though. Rude. Yeah, so we're just back in the big ol' area we just blew up. We can see the state everything has ended in now that it's all collapsed. Whoops! Our bad. I mean, kind of. Y'all need to stop building faulty crap. Yeah, and there's no indicator here, so there's no items here. There's what's left of that thing. Oh, we're also not going out that way, so we're going out this way. Even the little thing we used up here looks like it's broke. I saw that item down there in the lava, and I kind of wanted to go get it. You know there's something here. But I wasn't confident I had the health. Because lava still hurts. If we're guarded against heat, our defense increases, and our melee attack does... I think it has a larger range, which makes it easier to um, actually do the counter. Yep, sure did. Sure did break! Oh, and it opened up down this way. And all the miscellaneous machinery has made its way down here. So we kind of have to go this way. Now, as I said, as I said last time, I spent a great deal of time saying last time, the game does a pretty good job about nudging you in the direction you're supposed to go. But not restricting you. And this here is actually a point where I had decided, okay, I see where you want me to go, but instead of going there, I'm going to go back to all of the places that I have needed to be. Because you're taken back here, so what are you going to do? Well, you only have, like, one, maybe two ways out. And it ain't this, because that's a save point. But you can very clearly see that down there. Is there, like, anywhere to get friggin' health? Okay, you just have to run... You just have to run through that. Cool. Good sounds. Okay, that's some good health. I like it. Still feeling pretty good. And now I'm down here. Something is very unhappy. I don't know how I feel about something being very unhappy. Okay, well, at least we're at full life. something? I could have sworn back here 
I like these little guys. No, 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 it's not here. It's, uh, or is it? No, I don't think it is here. Don't run into the lava. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Hmm. Looks suspicious. So one thing you can do on the map is... Where's the button for? Place marker. Now, I noticed this as soon as I started playing the game the first time myself. And, of course, my first thought was, boy, I hope this turns out to be the kind of game that you could need these markers. And, as it turns out, it kind of is. I'm going to put a marker right there. Maybe I shouldn't put purple. Purple... I didn't want to put red, but I feel like purple is... Something bright. Something that doesn't blend in. I'm going to put a marker right there. Because this is something for us to remember later. That's a clearly destructible block, but we can't reach it. So, we'll come back when we can. But there's no indication for it on the map. Usually I don't bother with the markers because you can see what everything is. But there's no indication for that. That's like the one thing in this game that I think I use that for. Sure is a boss fight. Also, it really looks like there's something down there, but that's lava. It's a weird little face thing, looks familiar. I think this was the shortcut that I was remembering. But no, we're going down this way, and something down here is going to be real unhappy. Craig! Man, Craig! Okay, so you spewing crap, don't get hit by the fireballs. This is this is actually uh, a little crockmire like Open up! I think you even have to do the thing still, where you, like, shoot him in the face and that gets him to open his mouth. Open up! Not that way. Open up! Maybe I have to charge shot him in the face. up. Yeah, that's the ticket. It was the charge beam or missiles. Like, one missile calls them to open them up more. Look, just don't take too much damage, okay? Okay, fine. We'll do that dance, too. up. I 
only got so many missiles, dude. Hey, Creed, you're not looking so hot. I forget what I found the best way to do this was. Because these things are annoying as heck. Oh, well, that was my fault. There we go, we did enough damage. This lowers down, you can grab onto this. Then we go back up. And we put some in your face. Don't stay up here too long, or, you know, die. Oh, I'm out of missiles. Or a full charge beam. I don't know why it didn't work before. I, s I swear I tried it. Just last attempt, I tried it. There we go. Okay, we're doing better. Then this thing comes down, and then you get missiles in the face. And while you're down here, just like charge beam shot that, which will make dealing with the orbs a lot easier. I feel like missile works just the same, but the charge beam has a wider area, so it's easier to hit something that's bouncing around like that. Uh, comes down, use your quick morph to dodge, and then ride this on up. If you can avoid getting hit, you can do more damage to him. But if you stay up there for too long, he just knocks you down. health back from the orbs now that I can actually get rid of them reasonably. Not bothering to change off the beam to destroy the talons. I tried. Oh, you can counter that! Either we kill him, or we manage to counter him, now that I see you can do it.
and that's crayed down. That was neat because it was a, it was crayed for one. Like heck yeah, good to see crayed again. But it also had some Crockmire vibes to it. I do wonder why in the world Kraid was on this planet, but he was clearly being held captive. So maybe the Chozo, like... Maybe after you killed him in Super, he wasn't gone. Or something. And the Chozo came in and grabbed him and brought him here and held him captive. I don't know. I have no idea why in the world Kraid was here. Or maybe Kraid is a species. Well, no, I'd say it's... That Kraid really hated us specifically, or I'd say it's a different Kraid. It may still be a species. Hmm, well, we can't go that way. But we get another cool item. I was waiting for this game. Instead of just going or going and using all of the power-ups that you've collected in previous Metroid games and making a new game around them, I was waiting for the new ones. Something interesting to play with that we haven't had that we haven't tampered with before, that we haven't dealt with before. And this one caught me by surprise. Because it's just the charge beam. Only now when it hits something, it causes an explosion. And this can hit things through narrow walls. And I believe that explosion does more damage when you hit something with it. So this is also effectively a charge beam upgrade. Oh, hey, guess guess what? This guy in the ground here? Hit him anyway. Y'all on the ground, see if I care. Okay, so we got that we can't do anything with. This is an energy recharge, I think. No, that's a teleporter. I'll take the teleporter. Anytime you find a teleporter, take it. Because there's a chance that you're going to get to the other side and not be able to do anything. Oh, another thing about uh, Samus's new Samus's Vari suit now. Got the the shoulder dynamos are bigger. Slowly making her way back to the the old Samus suit we know and love. And I had kind of a hard time telling. Like, am I sure they're bigger? But they're bigger. That's a, taking us into a heated area here. Curious. I wanted to go do some exploration. Yeah, because that was... That was yellow. Wasn't it? No, because we took red. Which took us here. Yeah, I could have gone up this way, and I kind of wanted to. And this looks like progress, so let's go ahead and backtrack real quick. 
Yeah, so what was up here? Man, I'm gonna kick your butt. I'm tired of your crap. Not what I wanted to do. Get out of here. There we go, and we can use our diffusion beam to break that. And we don't even have to go in the lava. Otherwise, we're actually forced to take this path out. And we're back. Okay, so this guy is going to be a jerk over here, but I'm just going to go this way and not deal with him. This is real frustrating, because it's just an energy part. It's not even a whole energy tank. But we're not going to be able to collect that for a long as crap time, and that's frustrating. Like, there's gotta be a way to get that earlier. Uh, there's also, I think the path in the lava goes down a little bit more, and I don't remember if there's something down there or not. Uploading data. Hey, Adam, you in a better mood today? This area, Kyren, appears to be a biological research laboratory. You have already reactivated one generator in this area. There is another sector above you still suffering from the black hole. Find the next generator and reactivate it. You are slowly recovering your abilities. I have still not established what happened to you physically. Don't let your guard down. Your primary objective is to survive. Proceed with the utmost care. So I was originally thinking Dairon was going to be this, like, dark sector, almost. Lights out until you eventually turn the power back on. Because that's what happened here. But I feel like, as it turns out, there's very little you can do with that. And you turned the power back on here almost immediately. So I don't feel like that's really a strong theme for this area. More just um, an interesting mechanic for some sections of it. And on top of that, like, an area, once you turn the power back on, it still needs a theme. It needs to be something. But we just heard bi uh, Biological Research Station. Man, if those butterflies mean something, somebody tell me. Because I always just took them as kind of a subtle hint for something, but not actually, like, good information. Oh boy, I don't want to go back in. Uh, you know what, let's not go back in. Let's just take a break for today. Until next time, everyone, we're back in Dairon, and we're heading back into the Emmy area. Though, shockingly... Oh, no, actually, we did take care of the Emmy in Cataris. Cool. Okay, that actually means we're more or less... Well, we're not done in Cataris. We've... We'll be back. Oh, uh, another interesting thing. There are areas that are off-map. It's not quite as expansive as, like, fusion. You're not going to go like, oh, yeah, I found this passage, and it just goes to, like, a whole half the level off map. But when you get the map, that's not the be-all, end-all. 
Anyway, we're a little trapped in Dairon right now. We can't really get out. Yeah. So we're going to have to go through the Emmy Zone a little bit in order to be able to get our, make our way back. But as soon as I get back, as soon as I'm at a good spot to do it, I'd like to stop and actually ex do some exploration. Because there's a ton of, like, heated areas and things that we haven't been to yet. And I'd like to go back and look at them. Until next time, everyone.